the uh, important uh, aspect as well of uh, Everolimus that uh, we need to become aware of and become knowledgeable with is the side effect profile. And in particular, I like to call to the attention of uh, stomatitis. Uh, stomatitis, uh, in this um, pivotal trial, we observed 8% uh, of patients with uh, grade uh, 3 uh, mucositis. And we feel strongly that mucositis is a class effect. So uh, talking about uh, markers of efficacy or markers, if you wish, of inhibition of the pathway, stomatitis is clearly one of them. Uh, stomatitis occurs as a consequence of mTOR inhibition. However, I think it's important to try to avoid uh, grade 3 stomatitis because that interferes uh, tremendously with the quality of life of uh, patients. This stomatitis is different from the one that we see uh, with chemotherapy. So it's not kind of diffuse initially. So we're talking about uh, mouth sores, like cranial sores, small, uh, that they are sometimes not readily uh, visible just by a normal exam. So we need to look uh, inside the, the, the lips and in the uh, uh, gingiva. So it is not something that is apparent. And, and, and there are not too many uh, sometimes. You see two or three, that's it. I think what's critical is to understand two things. First, that grade two mucositis frequently goes to grade three, so that if we observe grade two mucositis, we need to stop. And we need to stop Everolimus until it goes down to grade one uh, mucositis. And that's, and that's important. And the other thing that I found is that uh, patients not uh, readily uh, volunteer to tell you that they have grade 2 mucositis. So they say, you know, I have some pain, but it's okay, I can eat. Well, no, some pain and it's okay, that's grade 2 mucositis. So it's very important that the, uh, when we question these patients, we are clear on what we are asking them, uh, and we need to, to, to make that sure. The other thing that is um, important is to realize that mucositis occurs very early and it occurs by week two in most cases. And when dealing with uh, side effects from therapy, we're so used to have the side effects later on during disease, uh, uh, during therapy of the disease, that we routinely, when we start a new therapy, sometimes we uh, say to the patient, come back in three weeks or come back in six weeks and then I'll take a look at you. Well, that's too late for mucositis. So I think uh, it is worth considering uh, seeing these patients early on. I see them between week one and week two, and then based on that, apply uh, dose reductions, uh, stop therapy and apply dose reductions as, as, as need be. I think the good news is that there is uh, clearly a level of tachyphylaxis. Uh, over time, uh, patients get better, so over time, mucositis does not get worse. Uh, so it's just at the beginning that we need, need to be careful about. The other side effects that we need to take into consideration is fatigue. Um, fatigue is there and it could be the basis also for dose reduction. And sometimes we uh, see hyperglycemia, again, a class effect, side effect, but hyperglycemia, um, it's uh, easy to control with, uh, uh, you know, with oral uh, uh, um, uh, agents. So uh, that really becomes uh, a rate limiting uh, side effect in this uh, patient population.